Uh, what's going on, my fellow YouTubers? Uh, my two bets. Um, let's see. Here. I'm gonna start a new series called How to Make a Gal Montage, and I'm going to, in my perspective, show you guys uh, everything what I do as far as syncing, uh, transitions, effects, um, color corrections, rendering settings, project settings. Anything at all to help you guys out because you know I have almost 500 subscribers, and this is my thanks to you guys, uh, you know, for helping me get my channel out there and shit like that. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, so for the first episode of How to Make a Gal Montage, I'll give you guys the basics on my shit, like my rundown, pretty much. Um, so let's get into this real quick. For my preferences on Sony Vegas 9, there is a template called uh, PAL standard, PAL standard slash IMX widescreen. Under it, you want to go to HDB 720 uh, 30, 720-30, uh, 1280 by 720. And I, I keep everything as default, make sure, uh, you know, just copy my settings right now, just pause the video if you need to. And that should be good. And so then I go to event pan slash crop. And then afterwards, I stretch out the video so there's no black bars. If you want black bars, like if you really, really want them, I guess you can give them a kind of cinematic effect. You want to click the top of the video clip, hold shift, and click it down once. Let me make sure that this is not unchecked right there. Um, drag it down once, and then you want to drag it about a quarter back up, like halfway. So you want to do about a quarter, just about that much. And it gives it the black bars it, if you really want them. Uh, then, of course, you want to title this, like, let's say, uh, full screen. And then click this little save this clip save preset button and whenever you guys want to go down to there I got like stupid shit down here but whatever you just click on one of them and you should be good to go um let's see and that's pretty much for my preferences for project settings for my rendering settings uh, uh which template did I use I think I used the 6 uh MBS template and you can get that by clicking on this on the second option and then going to Windows Media Video 11 or it should be 9 for 8. Make sure it's, uh, render loop region only is checked and save project markers and media if you guys really want that. And then when you're in custom I keep audio the same. I go to video and I make it 30 frames per second override default compression buffer which is three uh, uh per keyframe which is five uh pixel access pixel aspect ratio to one um the image size is 1280 by 720 and i keep it on constant bit rate sharpest and then for the bit rate i put it at nine make sure everything else is unchecked but in it land and then you guys same thing as the um event pan slash crop you name it, name your template, and then you click the little save disk clip. And you should be good. And that's pretty much it for episode one. Uh, like I said before, just subscribe, 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 comment, rate, and subscribe. And subscribe some more. And I will continue the series. Next series, uh, I don't know. Do I'll probably do syncing and a little bit of basic stuff like markers and stuff like that to help you guys out transitions. And that's pretty much it. Peace.